tensions flared at the press conference between Aljamain and Cejudo, as Cejudo boldly declared that the champion would soon bend the knee to Triple C. Meanwhile, Aljo shot back, taunting Cejudo that he couldn't even look him in the eyes, since deep down, he didn't believe a word of what he was saying. Look at, look at me, you don't believe what you're saying. You don't believe what you're saying. Look at me. Guys, I'm gonna get my eyes. I'm the captain now. Look into my eyes. Even, even Look guys who has top four said Triple C's gonna win. Look into my eyes. Shut up. You don't believe what you're Shut saying. Shut up. You don't believe what Bend you're saying. Bend the knee. Bend King Triple C right now. You don't believe you're gonna what you're do saying. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. I promise you That's that. That's why you break eye contact. You Shut know, up. You know Shut exactly up. What I'm, gonna do to you. I'm your dad. Henry Cejudo's blacklist, Dana's opinion about it, and Aljo's future. Stop this dude under three, and I promise you that. And then after that, I'm going after Sean O'Malley, and then I'm going after Alexander Volkanovsky. And I want Volkanovsky in Australia. I'm coming back to make history. And he happens to be my 2 0 fight. I'm going to get rid of him. I'm going to get rid of O'Malley. That's right, I said it. And then Volkanovsky's next. And you can't deny me no more. It seems that the triple champion is coming out of retirement hungry and eager to reclaim his throne as one of the best of all time. Dana White shared his opinion on Cejudo's plans for the future and also shed some light on Aljo's future if he can beat Cejudo. Champion. Listen, I love the fact that a guy who retired early, in my opinion, um, when he comes back like this, he has, you know, he wants to beat Aljamain Sterling, he wants to go after Sugar Sean, then he wants to go after Volkanovski. I love that kind of stuff, and I, I, I guarantee you the fight fans love it too. On the flip side, what does a victory do for Aljamain Sterling in terms of the pecking order of the greatest bantamweights in this company's history? What's the question again? What does a victory do for Aljamain oh, Sterling amongst the greats? It's huge. Here's the thing for Aljamain. Aljamain has had some unfortunate situations, you know what I mean, in his run. But like we were talking about today, I mean, the guy has like the most wins, the most consecutive, whatever it is. You know, I, I think that this, uh, 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 a win over Henry Cejudo will, will give this kid the credentials he needs now. This, this will uh, solidify him and anybody who has any doubts about him in the past and some of the things that have happened that Cejudo pointed out, um, beating Henry will, will squash that. It's a big fight for both these guys. Do you guys think Henry can win over his blacklist? Let us know in the comments. John Jones on Sergey Pavlovich. He's a one-trick pony. Exciting. Uh, I believe his last, his last six fights have been first round knockout which is very, very impressive. He kind of reminds me of a Glover to share when I fought against Glover. Um, when I fought Glover, I think he was on like a 17 fight win streak. Um, primarily a puncher, not much of a kicker. Uh, I think Glover's a lot more well-rounded, but yeah, this kind of reminds me of like a, he reminds me of a Rampage Jackson, a Glover to share, kind of uh, Alexander Gustafson, one of those guys who are kind of a one trick pony. And uh, I don't know if we'll ever fight, you know, right now my goal is to is to have one more big fight against Stipe Miocic, Madison Square Garden, and then kind of hang it up from there. So, who knows what the future holds, but yeah, he is exciting. Do you guys think Sergey is an easy fight for Jones? Or can the Russian be a real problem to the champ? Let us know in the comments. John Jones on retirement. I want to be around for my family. Yeah, um, you know, I think the Stipe fight will be plenty for me. I, I feel like I don't really have much to prove after beating Stipe Miocic. I've been in the game for a long time, and in fighter fighter years, I'm an old guy. I've been I've been training for a, a long time. Been in the game for a long time, and you know, got got some small injuries, and I just really want to be around. I want to be around for my family. I want to be around for my kids. I want to be able to play with my kids and and have a good head on my shoulders and joints that work and so yeah yeah I, I could see I could see it coming to an end really soon and uh, and I'm happy with that I'm really proud of my career Bones says that the only fight that would get him in the cage again is against Francis Ngannou yeah I, I do believe a, a Francis Ngannou fight would be worth entertaining not retiring yeah yeah I think I think a Francis fight would come with some serious uh revenue and that would make it worth my while Francis uh, is a former champion um, he's he's pretty damn popular here in America and, and across the you know, across the world. He's very well known, and uh, it would bring in a lot of money. And, and for that, I would be willing to come back. You know, everyone's talking about Sergey. I look at Sergey; it's just a huge challenge. But no one knows who he is. Yeah. You know, on the grand scheme of things, no one knows who he is. I think Luke Thomas said it best. He was saying that uh, 
high risk, very low reward, where uh, where you could fight a guy like Francis Ngannou and um, get the whole world talking. It'd be worth the risk. It'd be worth the money. It'd be worth all of it. Um, so who knows? Maybe the UFC will come with the right numbers and we can make this Sergey thing happen. But as of right now, I got all, I got all, like, you know, all the accolades, all, you know, nothing really to prove. And um, yeah, I think a Francis fight would, would get me really excited. That's what Gilly, this man, this is, he's different. It's it was, four months. We like, certain people understand this. Mm. When I was in China, I fought 24 times in 10 months. One of those months I fought each weekend. I had three knockouts that month. And these weren't like I said, these weren't gimme fights. These were guys that, you know, the Chinese were like, I was on the other team. Even when I was on their team, they were still giving me like world class guys. And staying active, a lot of people want to do all this shit, but a lot of people don't. To actually do it is different. He's done it, Holland did it. A lot of guys, a lot of guys, are, they're about that life. And I just want to say shout out to Big Gilly, fresh off that win. And he's just like, right, we go again. Spin the block. <laughs> My man, spin the block real quick. Uh, spin, the <laughs> spin the favela, let's go. I'm gonna let him know. Official perk, I'm gonna go Burns. That's my dog. I like Burns. He was on the fucking hell. Is it a co-main event? This one. It was a co-main event on my one. I know, you know, he's Brazilian. He represents, you know, Brazil to the fullest with the flag as a bandana. No matter what, and he's still represented and supported Pineda. But Burns has always been cool to me. And this is the thing. I don't like the Munchkin. I don't like Henry Cejudo. Yeah, I said your name. Little fuck. Nah, it's just because I mean, like for me, like I said, for such a smart man, he let his emotions cloud his judgment, yeah. and he starts to get real hater vibes because he thinks that me being great takes away from his greatness. Well, I'm like, nah, you're great in your own lane. You f do your thing. You f can do your thing, King, cringe King. Yeah, I'm gonna go Aljo, and also not just because of Aljo for no reason. I really think Aljo can beat him. But again, like I said, Aljo, I really think he's right now momentum. He's feeling himself. He knows he's a champion, and he said, like, they, I think it's gonna be like one of them fights, I don't know, high level, but I'm gonna pick Aljo, that's me. That's all for today's video. If you want to know the latest UFC news, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell, and click the like button, so you don't miss any details about the upcoming fights. Thanks for watching. See you soon.